antibiotic resistance. So antibiotic resistance is basically when germs develop the ability to be resistant to antibacterial um, antibac uh, antibiotics, like drugs such as like medicine that's supposed to kill your germs, but they're going to become ineffective, and you're going to need stronger doses because these uh, bacteria and viruses are going to uh, they're going to mutate and they're going to uh, they're gonna uh, vary. What's the what's the term? I forgot the word. They're gonna evolve to become resistant to these drugs and vaccines. So it's basically when germs and bacteria develop the ability to defeat the drugs designed to kill them. So drugs become ineffective. Drugs become in essentially ineffective because they've evolved. Bacteria has evolved to become resistant to these drugs over time. So how exactly does this work? So you're gonna have your initial bacteria colony, initial colony of bacteria in your body, say, for example. But then you wanna get rid of this harmful bacteria. So you, you insert some drugs that's gonna wipe out all of these other uh, bacterias except this one specific one. This one has a random mutation. Watch my video on mutations if you don't know what mutations are. It's basically just small changes in the DNA. It's a, ra it's a random mutation in one bacterium, that's the uh, singular form of bacteria, random mutation in one bacteria, or one or two, it depends. It, it doesn't have to be one. During cell division, that gives it some resistance to antibiotics. That gives it resistance to these antibiotics. And then the antibiotic is used on the colony, and only this one is going to remain, because all of the rest don't have the resistance except this one. And that's just going to leave this one. All the other bacteria is going to die except for the one with the mutation, which is resistant, and it survives. So only this blue one is going to survive. And then all the bacteria die. Um, and then bacteria re reproduce asexually. That's the key part, asexually. They don't need a mate to survive. So even if just one survives, it can reproduce and create a new colony. So this bacteria can reproduce in its, by itself, producing this new bacterium colony forming a new colony of bacteria that all carry the mutation for antibiotic resistance. That's the really deadly part. This one that survived with the lucky mutation, well, it can asexually reproduce by itself alone and create a whole new bacteria colony, all with the resistance. So a stronger antibiotic will be needed to kill these bacteria, and then some of them will be more resistant again, and then you need stronger and stronger doses, and that's eventually when your bacteria become resistant and your drugs become ineffective. An antibiotic, by the way, just means any drug that kills germs. Any drugs that can kill germs, essentially. So the problem is that over time, the bacteria can accumulate resistance to multiple antibiotics because some of them might still have the uh, immunity, a mutation that gives them resistance, leading to multiple resistance and the formation of superbugs. Superbugs are drug-resistant bacteriums. So MRSA is an example. You don't need to know the example, but that's just an example. So superbugs, those indefeatable bacteria. Then what exactly is the solution to this crazy sounding problem? Well, you need to make sure that you only take antibiotics when your doctor tells you. So essentially only when uh, prescribed. Only take antibiotics if they are prescribed to you when prescribed. And most, most often, if you go to pharmacies, you can't buy antibiotics yourself. You need a doctor's note to buy it. And finish all antibiotics provided. So if you are provided an antibiotic, you need to finish all the antibiotic that you get. If, for example, if, you, if, you, if your doctor prescribes you an antibiotic, they're going to tell you you have to eat the entire pill box so that all the bacteria can be killed, not just leaving one behind. Even one behind can asexually reproduce and create an entirely new colony. And also an issue is antibiotics in animal feed. No antibiotics. No antibiotics in animal feed. So an issue is farmers, without the knowledge, they will just dump antibiotics into their supposedly killing germs. But do not just put antibiotics in cow feed, for example, just to kill the bacteria that they might possibly have. So it's just a precautionary measure, essentially. It will just give the bacteria resistance and make them stronger because they don't, you don't even know if it has the bacteria. And then it's just random dumping, right? You're not prescribing it essentially. You're not giving it specific doses. You're just dumping in the antibiotics. So that can re uh, result in just one or two bacteria remaining within the cow. 
and that's going to get stronger. It's going to mutate, and they're all going to have resistance to these uh, antibiotics now, resulting in stronger and more expensive antibiotics needed in the future, and eventually they might become ineffective. Right? And yeah, that's pretty much it. So these bacteria can evolve to become all resistant to the antibiotics. We just need to be careful with antibiotics, essentially. Nice watching this one on antibiotic resistance.